Welcome to this week's Down Home with Tina. I'm your host, Tina Thompson. And I just, it's been probably maybe a month and a half now that I have gotten to know my neighbors who live across the street from me here in the city of Lancaster. And folks, this is called French por Front Porch Sitting. I can't even say it. I knew I was going to do that before it came out of my mouth. Front Porch Sitting is something that folks just don't do anymore. You guys, oh my goodness, I have found out so many cool things about my neighbors and it's because they actually anytime it's good weather they're sitting out on their porch and in the winter time it's you don't usually get to see them as much and when I saw them over and over again night after night I thought you know what they, they'll wave and I'll wave I thought I'm gonna go over and say hi well one evening I go over and I'm sitting there so I learned a long time ago a while ago that I have a nickname they've nicknamed folks on our street and I'm Tina Weena that's just Tina Weena is the nickname and she goes I hope you don't mind that's what we call you I was like that's fine it's no big deal and then she says the family over here we call them Roger's parents and I'm like Roger's parents but that's not the kid's name the kid's name's not Roger and Roger doesn't live in the house anymore he's like an adult and he moved out and one day Scott says so do you do you know what Roger's parents are their name is I'm laughing so hard I go well, I thought they were Roger's parents. <laughs> so anyways, we have such a good time. I know there's another gal who's a couple of houses down. They call her Ninja. And the reason they call her Ninja, and it's all out of good fun, y'all, because they always see her only in black, and she only comes out a certain time of the day, and you never see her otherwise, and she drives a couple of black cars. So it's just really cute. Again, it is only out of good fun. They call my, my son, the kid, hey, how's the kid? It, they, they, now my daughter, I said, so what do you call my daughter? They call her by her name. I was like, of course they do. <laughs> but anyways, front porch sitting, I thought about it one day. And really front porch sitting is something that is a pastime that I used to do it when I was a kid. My grandmother lived in Lancaster and I would love to sit out on the porch and talk to neighbor, Mr. Carlisle. It was when I was my like early teens, maybe even a tween. I got to know my mom's best friends. They lived in a duplex in Lancaster. And it was Russ and Edna that sit out on the porch. And we would go out there and we would talk. I don't know what we talked about back then. But these days, my good friends and neighbors, Pam and Scott, we talk about recipes. We talk about our day at work or what we've got going on here and there. Folks, it's just something we don't do anymore. So if you get a chance to sit outside and do some front porch sitting and getting to know your neighbor, I recommend it. It'll do the heart good. I've got a great show today. Hope you'll stick around. You're watching Down Home with Tina. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster or 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I am your host, Tina Thompson. I've got this humongous smile on my face. Connie Smith is with the Fairfield County Ohio State University Extension in Lancaster. She's brought somebody along with her, Aubrey Fowler, who is a 4-H educator. Now, Connie, is she's Master Gardener, and what else are you? You're like in a lot of hats. Well, yeah, we have a lot of hats that we wear, and, and none <laughs> do I wear very well. I'll just you wear tell them you that. all just yeah. perfectly. <laughs> no. So Connie and I go way back yeah. to probably um, 10 10 years, what is it, nine years. Nine years, probably, I bet it was right after I started doing talk that I had you on for the first time. Absolutely. And they're here today, these ladies are, to talk to me about the Fairfield County Fair. Now folks, this is my one time that I get to really highlight the Fairfield County Fair. It is one of my favorite times of the year. The Fairfield County Fair is where I first started my talk show. It was like, bam, that Monday of was when the fellow who was supposed to do a show, radio show, was not able to do it and it was actually put in my hands and I was asked by the owner of the station at that time 
what do you want to do? Do you want to do it here at the fair where that station does live stuff out there every day of the fair? And I go, there are thousands of people. And I love the fair. Yeah. The fair. That's and how that's we met. I headed it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, how that's we really how we started our relationship. That's, exactly that's, that's So it has been right from the start. Yeah. It happened oh because you would reach out and we yes. would get you All like kinds the of commodity queens. We would yes. get you. One time we had our cattlemen. Uh, mm -hmm. Board of directors come and talk to you. Took up the whole mm -hmm. stage and talked about why it was oh, important. Yeah. The give back to the youth was really important to them. Yeah. So we got to highlight a lot of the things that are untold stories at the mm -hmm. county fair. Yes, because I always say that, and I know it's free day, and that's a bonus for the Sunday, which it's October sixth. That is correct. October yes. 6th is the first day that the fair, it's not really the opening opening, but that's just the day that all of these 4-H students, FFA, FHA, all of them have projects. Sometimes it's their very first year with the project. These kids are out there and they're cleaning their animals and they're so excited and they have all this energy. If you wait until like Friday, have, the animals are probably basically, I think, Most gone. gone. And mm -hmm. the kids are exhausted. They don't want to talk to you. They've done their project. They're done. Yeah. Not saying yeah. that it's a bad thing. But the whole entire experience, I say that that first day that we get to go out and see that is just such an awesome experience for us in the community alone yeah. to yeah. witness. Well, I'll tell you what. Since our longstanding friendship, Mm -hmm. There's been a few things happen at the fair that you may not be aware of. For four years now, we've created this building called the Amazing Agri Center. Yes. And basically, um, the fair board started to believe that there was going to be a lot of education that could be had at the fair. So when we talk about that education at the fair, it's not only educating our youth, but it's educating uh -huh. the consuming public. Plus, it's giving that building gives them a little respite. Uh, it is actually the Ed Sands Farm Bureau building. So for the past four years, I have, um, well, it's been a blast to coordinate <laughs> the building. I mean, it's really been yeah. awesome because there's all kinds of cool stuff that happens. So Soil and Water, OSU Extension, mm -hmm. Farm Bureau start putting their heads together about three or four months ago. We always are taking notes of what worked, what didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a corn sandbox. Corn sandbox was a little messy. <laughs> yeah, so I remember seeing have, it. So um, we have done a few <laughs> things that to tweak that up just a little bit. The other thing uh, that we're doing this year is we decided we should be celebrating good kids doing good things. I love that. I do too. Yeah. It's, it's like the most That's awesome so thing in America. That's so who I am. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, here's the thing. Connie. So we like challenge the local FFAs. It's a huge building. You guys, you want to really display your projects. There's 900 projects you should display. So thanks to Farm Credit Services, South Central Power, different folks like that chip stepped in and they said, let us give you money and let the Fairfield Union FFA kids build all of the display cases. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. Think about kids doing their thing mm -hmm. to display things. So you'll see all of those FFA projects. And then you're going to see all kinds of activities. So Monday of the fair, Langster Culinary Arts students are coming. We've teamed up with Ohio Beef nice. Council Grant. We're going to be buying 50 pounds of one inch thick ribeye steaks for these kids to prepare and practice plating because, you know, everybody wants a pretty plate to eat from. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all about presentation. Oh. These kids are going to talk to us with some celebrity judges. It's a it's a, you said it's with what meat? Ribeye. One pound ribeye steaks. I want to be the celebrity guest. I'm just kidding. Well, you can come out. You can come out. <laughs> no, I don't have to have, be. I'm and totally it's a, it's a That's popular, just my favorite thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all. I just get in there for the food. Well, here's the thing. It's a no, popularity contest. It's like oh. uh, we have some political figures going to be there. Fun. And yeah. so everybody gets to vote with a kernel of corn. And whoever win, whoever gets that's the most kernels fun. in their jug, oh, that's who wins honey, the contest. That is so fun. So, um, there's too much cool stuff to talk about. There's oh, just way goodness. too much stuff to talk about. No, fun. I think that what you're doing is just pretty pr cool. It's funny, y'all, because it has been so many years that we've been doing this. Yeah. She actually gave me a list, and she's just like, <laughs> I'm not even on the list. Knows. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even on the list. <laughs> but, but she knows that 
I will totally get off subject yeah. because so I am on. so good at so on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's for all of us, Aubrey. This is her first it's time fine. experiencing Let's get it Aubrey with in here because we're not going to talk for 20 we'll minutes. Let, <laughs> we're turning it to Aubrey. We'll go in here. We'll no. <laughs> Aubrey, so, oh, wait, for, so you've been around, this has been 30 years now that you've been an employee with OSU Extension, yeah. right? I just had I my 30-year anniversary in July, and I haven't figured out yet. They haven't told me to leave yet. <laughs> you know? I knew that was coming. <laughs> I mean, but but maybe I'll get to stay another 20 years, who knows? Aww. But it's been a blast, and it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not thinking of retiring, like, right away, but gosh. Why would you? Why, You're thing. still smiling the after fair, 30 years. The fair is where we celebrate yeah. youth. And we celebrate what kids do. You, you think about the fair and you think about kids with beef animals. Mm-hmm. Have their project for next year already. Yeah. Yes, yes. So yeah. long-time yeah. projects. And then you think about children that just, um, you know, ta- tattooed rabbits three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So you think about there's all these project areas mm-hmm. that we're learning. And then you think about all that adult volunteer give back. Aubrey can lay numbers to all that. <laughs> yes. And she can tell you all about and then a great new project in Ag Amazing. You gotta hear about. You <laughs> will love it. Okay. So Aubrey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. So a year you've been with OSU Extension? Yeah, my anniversary date is September seventeenth, so I've been there a whole year now. Aww. This will be my second fair. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, so yeah we're we're really fortunate at Fairfield County. We actually have uh-huh. two four H educators. We have about we have over thirteen hundred youth in our four H programs. So that's those that do traditional programs. So from ages five all the way up to 18. Um, so some of our clever buds do the more hands-on activities and then our traditional mm-hmm. kids, they get to pick their own project and either do a summer judging or a lot of them will come to fair in a few weeks. And some folks who, of course, we have a huge agricultural community. <laughs> we have a lot of kids that do have animals yeah. and things like that. Some folks forget, and because I don't want to get too far off topic. <laughs> right, no, you're fine. Because <laughs> we were talking. But the still projects are yes. something for those who you may not have the means to have a livestock animal or something like that. You can have still projects. What is yeah. a still project, Aubrey? Yeah, so a still project is anything, um, really anything that's not livestock. So um, in the summer mm-hmm. we have things from health and safety to cooking to mm-hmm. sewing, um, some of those more traditionals that you think of. Mm-hmm. We also had a bunch um, this year that did natural resources. So we had muskrat trapping, which Connie and um, Tommy highlighted a couple weeks ago. Um, in our 4-H world, um, we have kids that do rock collecting and insects and anything that they want to study, they can. Yep. And they even have an opportunity, they can make their own project of anything they want to so learn about. That's awesome. So when does a 4-H year project or projects begin, like the year? Because I know it ends with the fair. Yes. So for Fairfield County, we kind of have a stretched out year. Um, we actually start recruiting in March. Our first mm-hmm. big kickoff is 4-H day. It's the first Saturday of March, and it'll be at the AAA building in the fairgrounds. And we'll have a lot of information out about that if you see us at the fair. Um, And so we go from March, um, summer judging falls in July, so a lot of kids start wrapping up then, and then they'll display their projects again at the fair. And then October is when our year ends. Awesome. And we're here talking about this year's Fairfield County Fair. It it begins on Sunday, October 6th, and it goes through the Saturday, what is that, 12th? The 12th. That's why I said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brain is working okay so far today. (laughs) So what, uh, that's new this year. Connie just mentioned that we were really yeah really so we're really for, so we're really fortunate at having two educators um, Leslie Cooksey is our other educator she focuses on livestock and so I'll get to hang out with Connie in the Ag Amazing building and we're gonna um, highlight some other 4-Hers and get more kids involved one of our big projects that we're super excited about is the thank you note project and so what we're doing is giving um, 4-Hers and any junior fair kids really so our FFA and our 4-H members an opportunity to come in and get their thank you notes done while they're at the fair. So they can do their thank you notes for their advisors, their project Good. helpers, buyers, award sponsors. Um, we'll have everything there for them. Yeah. The endowment um, committee actually sponsored all their postage, so it, we'll even mail them out for them. I think that is really great. I yeah. love a thank I you think, note, do you? Yes, yes, <laughs> and, and, and because I do. I think once they're done being with that project at the end of their week, they yeah. kind of are like, okay, moving on to whatever else yeah. they've got going on, and they've kind of ended it, and they've got closure. Some don't right. do that, thank right. you. That well, really, there are a right. lot of folks involved through that whole process. There is. To right. help them right. get there. I just think it's, you know, I think writing a note is a skill, and I also think writing a note is really important, and even... Mm-hmm. Even at our stage in our life, uh-huh. a handwritten yes. note means so much, don't uh-huh. you think? Oh, no, absolutely. I, yeah. I encourage people all the time, write letters. Write a letter. Yeah. Don't text yeah. it. Write it down yeah. and see yeah. what yes, yeah, somebody So we're going to use, like, about. volunteers. Yeah. I'm going to bring some of those master gardeners in, and we're going to, like, have them set with some of these children 
and you know it's it's a new project yeah. we don't know how it's going to be received it'll be great but but yeah, i hope it's great. received it yeah you think yes i hope so. it will be God, yeah I yeah because so. i think that we're getting into i think society knows what is being missed and that is something that's missed and i think there are a lot of people that are just going to be like yep it's time it's time to show our youth again what they are lacking and mm-hmm. doing and right. and thank you cards has been something that's just missed i mean it's, i think it's missed yeah so i don't know yeah. wow just great things happening you guys yeah. um check out in, in march be paying attention because i'd love mm-hmm. to have them back for free each day <laughs> yeah because i absolutely. do encourage kids it teaches them discipline all kinds of different things not just discipline it teaches yeah. them um, oh, they tell me i'm too old to take the sewing project because i would be doing that all over again <laughs> if i can barely sew a button on so if if i you know what that's the thing about those books anybody can buy those books Oh. Yeah, so like I bought a quilting book, and I still haven't learned how to use it, but... <laughs> That's me with qu- crocheting. Is that crocheting? That, yeah, yeah, a long string, but anyways, yeah. 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 Ladies, I want to thank you so much. Thank We're you. looking forward to the Fairfield County Fair this year. Check out all of the 4-H projects and the FFA projects. I'll be back here in just a minute. You're watching Down There with Tina. Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm a recovering addict. For 10 of the last 11 years, I've been struggling with addiction, homelessness, incarceration, and just loneliness. However, since getting clean this past year, I've accomplished more than I have in those 10 years combined. After attending outpatient counseling services, inpatient counseling services, living a sober living house, and attending 12-step meetings, I've been able to regain control of my life and begin to achieve goals I've always dreamed of. Addiction can destroy lives in many ways. Whether you need help with childcare or financial assistance, everyone deserves a new beginning. Recovery supports are just that, supports for recovery. My life mattered, your life matters too. This message is brought to you by the Fairfield County Adam H. Board. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I'm your host, Tina Thompson. This fella I have right now with me is Bob Jumper, and I have known Bob and his family for the longest time. Yep. Probably, uh, I don't know, maybe all of my life, because I really think that you've been friends with the family. Oh, yeah, all, for a long, Before long time. I was probably even born. Yeah, like, well, we're I think talking Mom and Dad 70s. bought the farm we used to go to in 69. Uh-huh. Right. So my entire life, mm-hmm. <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah, and it just, it's the, this family that... My aunt and uncle knew it was neighbors of theirs. And right. I have to tell you, Bob, one of my greatest memories of a kid is when I went to your parents, mm-hmm. Bob and Betty, and she had these old dresses and she let me and my sister dress up in. <laughs> and of course they were older dresses, right. but um, they were big dresses too. And I, for some reason, and all my life out of all the times I played dress up, that is what sticks out the most mm-hmm. are the dresses and her just allowing us to do it. And they are just the sweetest people. Of course, oh. they're no longer with us anymore. Right. But I just, mm-hmm. I love them, miss them. And they, they oh, I just, yeah. yeah. So great yeah. family. And I'm so glad because I got to share the story here of how I even came across Bob. So I was over at Talmadge Elementary getting ready to talk to Principal Jake Campbell about something. And the ladies at the front desk had said something <laughs> to me. It was right before school started. And I told them about my show. I highlight different folks and veterans and they go oh are you here for Bob I was like who's Bob they said oh he does the um, is it road guard Court crossing guard duty crossing guard duty for town and elementary for how many years now five years five years and I went Bob who they said Bob jumper and I was like not the Bob jumper I know Bob jumper <laughs> because I mean that's the Baltimore area where all of this is from right. so um, I'll be daggone did it end up yeah. being the Bob Jumper because I did creep you on Facebook. I go, wait a minute, you know the good old thing with Facebook and I'm looking on Facebook and I go, is this your Bob Jumper? And I was like, well, that's my Bob Jumper. Then we hadn't seen one another for oh, years. Been years. A, yeah. a long, long, long time. But mm-hmm. Bob, I am glad that you are taking the time to be with me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, as a veteran, you have you're involved with different things and you yes, have ma'am. an event coming up we want to make sure to get on right. to let folks know about what is that event it, it's called tribute to our heroes this is our eighth year of doing it eighth it's on october 5th from noon till five on talmadge and lewis avenue right off of lincoln avenue in lancaster uh all the money we raise goes to wounded warriors project 
Uh, we have an opening ceremony uh, with, with a bagpiper that actually starts coming down the street to get people's attention. Nice. Uh, the mayor is there as a guest speaker. Uh, Representative Tim Schaefer is there. Uh, Sheriff Palin is there. Uh, Chief Allen, or Allen uh, Pilar. Uh, oh, Pilar. Okay, yeah. Chief Pilar. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, and we honor a veteran every year at this event. The first year we honored a World War II veteran who was actually at the Battle of the Bulge in Patton's 3rd Armored Division. At the time, he was 93 years old. Wow. Uh, yeah, we did him. We did a Korean vet. We did a Vietnam vet, a Desert Storm vet. Uh, we, uh, we honored Officer Sandy from Lancaster PD, who was an Army vet. He's, he's been an LPD officer for 25 years, probably 26 years, maybe now 27 now. Uh, last year, we did a corrections officer from BIS who was an Army veteran who was also named Correction Officer of the Year. Nice. This year we're doing a gentleman named Daryl Wallace. He is a Lancaster firefighter. He's been a firefighter for 19 years, a Navy corpsman who was assigned to the FMF, which is the Field Marine Force. So he was actually like a combat medic. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so he's going to be there. He'll get a plaque from us, a proclamation from the State House honoring him. I mean, it's, it's really a cool, cool thing to be. Uh, it, it's just a fantastic time. All sorts of activities for the kids. Have antique tractors there. Uh, Civil War reenactors. Nice. I'll have, a, I'll okay. have a cannon sitting in my front yard that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. pretty cool. I mean, it is. It's fun. Uh, all sorts of vendors, uh, food, um, face painting for the kids. Uh, Taylor Renner brings down some equipment that the kids can look at and stuff. Oh, uh, I'm, oh the fire department is there with their fire trucks. The, the SWAT vehicle is going to be there so people can actually get in a SWAT vehicle and have their picture taken and all sorts of stuff like that. Is it continuing to grow? Yes, ma'am. Participation it, it's, each year. Uh, we're averaging between, if the weather is decent, between 800 and 1,000 people a day, and it's only in like a four-hour shot. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean it's pretty cool that we oh, do a yeah. huge Chinese auction uh, where oh. people just buy tickets and put them in the thing, and that's where most of our money comes from. I was going to say, do you take donations for that, and are you taking donations yes. of, of the baskets? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, who would they contact for uh, that job to give drop off or whatever? Contact me. Um, okay. My number is seven four zero five zero three eight five five five. Or, yeah, just contact me. That'd be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Because my wife's number's on my phone and I can never remember it. Yeah, no, it's just that we don't remember things. It's no, that day no, we don't. Age where Especially we just at my push age. Push a button. Yeah. They start in the car with pushing the buttons and then it goes, of course, to phones where mm -hmm. you just, yeah, yeah, no, I do the uh, same thing. I got to think of my own phone number oh, sometimes because uh, I never give it out. I don't know <laughs> if you've heard of uh, Wendy Pennington who does yes. sing. Well, Wendy's going to be there, one of our performers. Oh, uh, nice. <clears throat> Craig Lowe supplies the sound system for us. And another lady, uh, Heather Santos is going to be a singer there, too. Oh, my goodness. What are the times again of uh, this? From noon till 4. Okay, October 5th, Saturday, yeah. October 5th, from noon to 4. Mm -hmm. Talmadge and Lewis Avenue, right. which is right over near Talmadge. Right, it's directly across the street. Actually, they can park in Talmadge Elementary School parking lot, Okay. which even makes it better. Oh, that is super, mm -hmm. super nice. Folks, yeah. go out and... And please, is there anything else? Because you know I want to move on. I don't um, want to forget anything with no, this, though. No, that pretty much covers important. the event. Okay, but so Bob is a veteran. How many years were you in? Six years. Six 66 years. 66 to 72. What branch? Air Force. Air Force. I was so, I love the Air Force. Yes, I got to uh -huh. do that with, I love the Army and the Marines. I love everybody because, mm -hmm. you know, I got to equally spread my love. You definitely do. Props. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> Some Marine will holler at you because you forgot the Marine Corps. Know, right. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine. Coast Guard. Coast Guard and any of those others mm -hmm. that do any kind of volunteering. Are you signing on your, your name on that dotted line for the government and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the safety of our nation? I yep. love them all. Yep. Well, with that, I want to, um, you as a veteran, I want to thank you for what your time in and what you continue to do oh, for our it, veterans. It, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's my wife and I, it's our honor and privilege to do it because it, it brings the whole community it? together. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. So here is to Ale House 1890. It is a $20 well, gift card. Thank you. Go towards something. And then this you can use for yourself if you want to, but it is a gift card from Ava Jewelers. Oh. And you can go put towards $40 towards a gift for your lovey, your okay. wife that you're just saying, and then, or speaking about, and then um, a gift certificate from Walker's Shoe Center. So oh, any cool. item there, a pair of shoes or other items that they've got there that you can use, Thank Bob, you. for you to, um, just for yourself, for a loved one, for gifts, whatever you want to do. Okay, promise me this. What's this? You do so much for that, the um, tribute. Mm -hmm. Don't don't put that towards the tribute. You have to promise me that you're going to use it for yourself or your wife. Because I know veterans and I know people like that. 
<laughs> you know, not not saying you don't want to, right. but I mean just to make it even right. another additional I'll, thing. I'll give. Him, I'll, I'll, you, like, I'll promise you, you this. I'll give it to my wife. Okay, good. Okay. And then, That'll but now you promise me. Now will you promise her to make sure. No, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know what you, how you are with being. I think, I think, with wanting to pay, move forward. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You know what? Somebody else could use this even right. more so than what I could use that. And I mm-hmm. want to make sure that you actually do something well, special for yourself. I appreciate that. You thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank it was, you. It was great seeing you. Oh, you too. Keep doing what you do at Talmadge Elementary. I'll be back. You're watching Down Home with Tina. At Dagger Law, we have more than 110 years of combined expertise in nearly every part of law. What I think sets us apart from any other law firm is our ability to work together. With us, you're getting a trusted partner, in addition to a team who can help you with a growing business, changing family, planning your future, or dealing with land issues. It's a challenge every day, and you meet an awful lot of nice people. Your case matters. We'll take the time and the energy to ensure that you have a quality experience, quality representation. Whatever you need, we have a lawyer who can help. Dagger Law. Local. Trusted. Experienced. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I've decided to <laughs> keep my guest, and they're going to play the game with me that I play every week. But before we get to that, I do have some sponsors to thank. I want to thank Huddle Tire Company, also Donald Law Office, Ale House 1890, and Ava Jewelers. Great businesses in our community that I hope that you will take the time to just look online and see the services that they have to offer. I also want to remind you that you can watch Down Home with Tina every week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 10 a.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. YouTube, if you don't have Spectrum 1021, you can go to CLN, Your Hometown Connection, and Facebook at Down Home with Tina. We're gonna play our game now. <laughs> Back here is Connie and also Aubrey from the Fairfield County OSU Extension. We've been talking about the Fairfield County Fair and I'm just so excited about the fair. Love it each and every year, just coming up this weekend. But we're gonna play our game and see how well they do. And we all know how it works on the show. If you win, you get a treat. If you don't win, you get a treat. <laughs> it's a win-win, okay. right? Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, so you're going to say something, right? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Ready? Yeah, we're good. She tried to cheat, (laughs) y'all. She did. Okay. Ready? Yeah. High paid freelance clothes. Say that again. High paid freelance clothes. I hate something clothes. High paid, high High. High, high, like ceiling uh-huh. high. Paid. Paid. Freelance something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't hardly look at you. Like, <laughs> and then concentrate. What? It's hard for me to do this. Uh, high. high. Paid. Freelance. Oh. <laughs> what are you? Howls or goals? Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, I hate, I hate, hate freelance clothes. I hate wolves. Something. I like, hate. I hate. I no, hate. I hate, hate freelance clothes. Wolves. Wolves. <laughs> yes, yay! High paid freelance wolves. What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, take that thing out of your mouth. So I can. I can understand you. <laughs> oh, this is a girl. Wagons full of food. Wagons full oh. of food. food. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one. Okay, Where's are this? we done now? One more. One more. Oh, one oh. more. I like the French fries. Uh, something French fries. I like French fries. Violate. What? Violate. <laughs> Violate. Violate? Yeah. Violate French fries? Violate the French fries. How? <laughs> And that means nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. So, I'm thinking uh, ketchup, vinegar, what? Violate French fries Violet with ketchup or vinegar. <laughs> That's right, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I always have treats where I do here. Y'all get cookies. I make homemade cookies. Oh my gosh. Well, I would think so because I, I feel think like so. a fool now. No, I you're not a fool. Know. You are not a fool by any means oh at my all. God. I would, you, you all 
all could put it in the mouth and I would oh, have no, no, not no. a clue. No, I know, right? Doing She's that. like, no, no, I didn't. I would never. Think. Thank you for being good sports and all everybody. Yeah, thank I just you. Too. I love having you. Yeah. It is such a great. She may never come back ever again. <laughs> but to down him with Tina It's show. all about fun. All you about know what fun. life is. Yeah, and that's it what is. it is. Yeah. And making memories. So I hope that the kids for the 4-H program make awesome memories of this year's Fairfield County Fair. You are watching Down Home with Tina Gumbless.